Hi loves, I'm Shauna and I want to thank you for joining my channel. So today I'd like to share with you a new product from Marc Jacobs Beauty and it's called the Finish Line Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. I'll give you my thoughts on this item, show you a little demo of the application, and then compare it to a longtime favorite of mine which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So if you haven't already, please be sure to like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell. So with that said, let's get started. This coconut setting powder is described as a creamy, loose powder that is made up of five forms of coconut and cocoa butter. It's set to set your makeup, giving you a hydrated and healthy look with a soft matte finish for up to eight hours. On first impressions, the packaging is really nice. It has a mesh that allows you to dip your beauty tool directly into it so you can get the perfect amount of powder without the messiness. It also has a lovely light coconut scent. The powder comes in one shade called Invisible. I will mention that it does have a slight yellow tint, but once blended, it seems to disappear right into my skin. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you know that my skin type is combination, with it being more oily on my T-zone area. For the base of my face, I am wearing the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer under my eye area and the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Using a damp beauty blender, I will apply this powder to set my under eye area. I am pressing the powder directly on top of my concealer, letting it sit for a few seconds and then gently dusting off the excess. Using the La Mer Powder Brush, I will use this powder to set my foundation on the rest of my face. I have to say the powder feels lightweight and finely milled. It also seems to melt right into my skin. It doesn't leave a white cast and one thing that I found very impressive is that it blurred out my pores. Also, it's definitely a more hydrating powder, so we'll see how this plays out throughout the day. The Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder has not only been my favorite, but a cult favorite for a while now. It is repeatedly featured as a bestseller on the Sephora website. This is a silky powder that is used to set makeup to a matte finish. It gives the face a soft focus effect to blur imperfections with no flashback. It comes in two shades, translucent and translucent medium deep. I will repeat the same application process of the powder on the other half of my face, this time using the Laura Mercier powder. Now let's talk prices. The Marc Jacobs Coconut Powder retails for $44 for 8 grams of product, where the Laura Mercier Powder retails for $38 for 29 grams of product. When you break down the cost, the coconut powder is more expensive at $5.50 per gram, whereas the Laura Mercier Powder is only $1.31 per gram. The Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Powder is beautiful. I've been using this powder for about a week now and it makes my skin look soft and healthy. I'm very impressed with what a nice job it did with blurring out my pores and imperfections. I think it beat the Laura Mercier powder in that department. Um, it's hydrating so it never made my face look or feel dry and crepey and it did last the 8 hours. I really think that those of you with dry skin will love the coconut powder. Now the mesh packaging is nice but I still kind of prefer the Laura Mercier's powder packaging because it lets me pour out the amount that I need and I usually pack it on. But I've come to realize with the coconut setting powder, all you need is a small amount of it. Either way, the Laura Mercier is still a great powder in my opinion and I'll continue to purchase it. It does have a drier and matte finish that may be better suited for those of you with oilier skin. So for the price point, I'll continue to wear the Laura Mercier powder for everyday use and the Marc Jacobs powder for going out or special occasions. Well, those are my overall thoughts. If this video is helpful, make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and also hit that notification bell. Also, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below or just message me on Instagram. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!